Today I'm making a popular classic that's probably one of the most ordered items on a restaurant menu and that is dal makhani and I'm going to show you how you can make a restaurant style dal makhani right in your home kitchen. My channel all about easy to follow and easy to implement, ingredients always displayed on the right and highlighted for each step. If you like my channel, please do subscribe, share and like. So come follow along and cook with me. To make the dal makhani, we need one cup of black urad dal. I have cleaned this really well and soaked this overnight. One fourth cup of chana dal, again I've soaked it overnight. And one fourth cup of rajma, soaked overnight as well. So I have taken a pressure cooker. To that I will add all of the dal. So here I'm adding the, the black urad dal. And adding the rajma, the red kidney beans and also add the chana dal and to this I will add 5 cups of water and now pressure cook this for about 4 to 5 whistles. So there's been five whistles, so I will now open to check if the dal is cooked all the way. So one thing to do is, you need to take it in a spoon, it's too hard, so and make sure it gets mashed all the way so we can see the dal is cooked. So now we will set this aside and start making our gravy. Now we will start making our gravy. For that we need one tablespoon of oil, three tablespoons of ghee, three green chilies, one medium onion about 150 grams finely chopped one tablespoon ginger paste and one tablespoon garlic paste one and a half tablespoons of kashmiri red chili or paprika half a teaspoon turmeric powder and two small tomatoes 200 grams that i have made into a smooth puree now i'm going to add the oil and also add the ghee and wait for the oil and the ghee to be heated up before adding the green chilies. I will now add the green chilies and also the onions and we will fry the onions till they caramelize and turn light brown. The onions have now turned light brown so now I will add the ginger garlic paste and we will fry the ginger garlic paste for another three to four minutes at a low to a medium low flame. It's been four minutes now I will add the dry powdered spices so the turmeric powder and then we will also add the Kashmiri red chili or the paprika and we will mix this and cook this for another two to three minutes at a low flame. Now I will add the tomato puree and also add some salt as per taste and now we will cook this till we can see oil separating so this takes about five to six minutes for to, the masala to get completely cooked and for the gravy to thicken up. It's been six minutes and you can see the oil is separating out and our gravy has nicely thickened up as well. So now what we will do is we will add the cooked dal. So add all of it and we will mix this well and cook this for five minutes while we stir continuously. This will help in really blending the dal well with the masala. And as you are stirring it, you, with the ladle, you can just mash the dal, but some of the dal a little bit like this. What it will do is it will thicken up the gravy and give it a really nice consistency. And as you are stirring it, you will be able to see how the color of the dal keeps changing and how it thickens up. So we will cook this for five minutes now while stirring continuously. It's been 
five minutes and you can see how much the dal has thickened up and also how the color of the dal has changed so it's it's looking more like a restaurant style dal makhani that we get now what we will do is we will add one and a half cups of water and we will completely lower the flame and let this cook on a low flame for 20 to 25 minutes. So in the restaurants, typically how they cook dal, cook dal makhani is they never pressure cook the dal and they just slow cook it completely. However, at home, we don't have that much time. So we pressure cook that. But this is really important to get the real flavors of dal makhani. So lower the flame and let it cook um, for 20 to 25 minutes. And make sure you keep stirring occasionally. As the dal is getting slow cooked, we will start making our tarka for the dal. For that, we need two tablespoons of butter and one and a half tablespoons of chopped garlic. So I'm adding the butter. Wait for the butter to melt before adding the garlic. Now I will add the chopped garlic and keep the flame low because both the butter and the garlic can get burnt really quickly and we will fry this till the garlic becomes completely light brown the garlic has now turned light brown so we will set the pan aside it's been 25 minutes and you can see how the dal makhani has thickened up and the color is looking exactly like you get in the restaurants uh, for dal makhani so now what we will do is we will add our tarka which we just made with the butter and garlic so so add that just gives an absolutely beautiful flavor to the dal makhani and mix this well and then we will top it off with some more butter this is another two tablespoons now this is completely optional you can skip the butter if you would prefer however in restaurants um, they do add additional butter so it's completely your choice and then turn off the oven completely and at the end add two to three tablespoons of cream And our dal makhani is completely ready to serve. It's a delicious recipe and you can recreate the restaurant style dal makhani at home. Great to enjoy with roti, naan, paratha. So please do try this recipe and let me know how this works out for you. Thank you so very much for watching my channel.